but it can also be valuable one-on-one -on -one situation I'm kind of frozen shift him and then go performing and executing the skill is the first part but now I have to get away do not perform your skill good skill and then be slow and heavy getting away from him because what's gonna happen he's gonna come back and now I have to beat him again to make sure when you're actually beating someone you're getting away from them quickly next let's talk about where to use a scissor push him that way so I can come this way with both of these skills before I do the skill I'm thinking about the space that I want to get into I know that I have to fake him this way I have to push him into this space to create this space but that's usually how I would use this is you're either getting out of your feet playing a pass or you're keeping it moving making yourself more difficult to tackle but just turning is going to create some space for yourself so again it's about protecting the ball pulling away to create space to play a pass so when you're in these situations think about one quick move and then explode away again find space okay and sometimes the best move i always say just a change of pace change of direction instead of trying to receive it here i want to check out here so now i have space to either put in that cross or i can go at him with speed and make my decision i already know boom i want to get at him so i'm going without hesitation Number one is just a simple change of direction. Instead of always worrying about the defender, just focus on attacking the space. If you can learn to simplify your dribbling, you're gonna beat more players right away. You can take this move to the next level by changing your pace as well as your direction. Move number three is an outside skip. This is a move I use all the time when I'm playing. And instead of the change of direction where you were taking your touch at about a 45 degree angle, here you're going at a 90 degree angle and you're basically avoiding the lunge of the defender. So getting away from him and then quickly moving past him. Number four, La Croqueta. This was made famous by Iniesta a few years ago, but you see players use it all the time. Basically, it's a very quick touch from your left to right or right to left foot. Again, you're trying to avoid the lunge of the defender's tackle. Do it quickly, you're basically passing that ball as quickly as you can from one foot to the other. Number five is a single body feint. So you're basically making a hard step beside the ball. Now you're not just stepping, you're trying to shake the defender with your movement. So really throw the defender with your leg, with your body, and even your eyes. Move number six is taking the last move to the next level. It's just a double body feint. So again, you're really stepping hard to each side of the ball, trying to shift the defender, get him off balance, and then quickly accelerating into the space you have created. Move number seven is a step over. Similar to the body feint, here you're putting your foot around the ball. Again, you wanna shift the defender with your foot, with your body and your eyes. Really get him off balance and then you're gonna quickly explode in the opposite direction. The final move is a double step over. You wanna to try to do your step overs as quickly as possible while keeping good control and good balance but you really wanna force your defender to move and adjust to your movements. So remember, it's not just putting your foot around the ball, it's really selling your feints. Remember the importance of being an effective dribbler. I want you to realize that being a good dribbler is more about the mindset than the actual skills. Obviously, you need to have good touch and good technique, but you need to have that mindset that when you get that ball at your feet, you are attacking with purpose and pace. A lot of times you don't even need moves. You just need to attack that space and force defenders to chase you rather than worrying about them.